The Blue Songbird by Vern Kowski. Once there lived a blue songbird. Every morning she would wake up, hop to the edge of a high branch, and listen to her sister's lovely songs. The songbird always tried to join in with them, but she could never sing like they could sing. I'm not like my older sisters, said the songbird to her mother. It seems there are no songs for me. My dearest one, replied her mother, not just any notes will do. You must go and find a special song that only you can sing. So the songbird left her mother, left her nest and all she knew, and flew off to find her special song. When she reached a far-off land, she saw a giant bird, unlike any she'd ever seen before. The songbird landed and began to chirp, Excuse me, Mr. Long-Necked Bird. In your travels, have you heard of a very special thing? A song that only I can sing? The bird stretched his slender neck down low. To where the songbird stood. My name is Crane, whooped the bird, and I'm sorry that I can't help you. But see those mountains over there? Beyond them lives the wisest bird. If anyone knows where to find the answer, I'm sure it will be him. The songbird kindly thanked the crane, then flew off to continue her quest. She soared over the mountain peaks and dove down into a deep valley until she reached a dark pine forest. Here she found a bird who looked old and very wise. Hello, Mr. Wise Old Bird. In your long life, you must have heard of a very special thing, a song that only I can sing. I am Owl, hooted the bird. Who are you looking for? No, not who, answered the songbird. I'm searching for a song. But the owl only cocked his head. Who? Who? This must not be the wise bird after all, thought the songbird. Still, she thanked him kindly, then flew off once more to continue her quest. The songbird crossed rivers and valleys, cities and oceans. All along the way, she always asked where she might find her song. But no bird ever had the answer. One windy winter day, she met a bird who looked a little bit mean and more than a little bit hungry. Even so, the songbird bravely chirped. Please don't eat me, Mr. Scary Bird. I just wondered if you've ever heard of a very special thing, a song that only I can sing. Call me Crow, cawed the bird. And I have heard of such a thing. Across the sea there is an island, golden as the sun, and filled with the most enchanting music. Fly west as far as you can, and there you will find the song you seek. The songbird kissed the clever crow, then set out to cross the sea. She flew through storm and wind, through night and day, 
until she was more tired than she had ever been. But the songbird did not rest, for she knew that soon she'd find her special song. Then she saw the island glowing like a jewel on the horizon. In the distance, she could hear the sound of beautiful music. At last, I made it, laughed the songbird, and suddenly her wings felt strong again. She swooped down faster and faster, following the sound, until she found that after all this time, she was home. The songbird's heart fell. She had circled the whole world, spoken to every bird there was, but her quest had failed. Then she saw her mother, and all her disappointment disappeared. She had so many stories to tell, but when the songbird opened her beak to tell them, what came out was not words at all, but a song. She sang a song of crane and owl, and of the clever crow, of cities and of stormy seas, and mountains capped with snow, of all the warm and sunny days and the chilly nights alone. And of the love the songbird felt for her family and her home. The End how did the songbird's feelings change throughout this book? How was she feeling at the beginning of the story? And how was she feeling at the end? Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star. Until next time, keep reading.